topic of this video is terminals. One of the most fun things to learn in Linux is to control your operating system through commands. Now, Linux has a bunch of what they call aliases, commands, things that you change, things that you think, things, things, things that you find on the internet. People say, type this, and then you get this strange long sentence and you think, oh my God, what's that, right? So you can do all kinds of things. Arcolinux.com, I think it's written correctly. So in here, you'll find information about bash RC. So bash is one thing, fish is another thing, and ZSH is another thing. It's all about aliases, right? So if you have information, if you want to, if you found something and you want to add it to your collection, to our collection of Arcolinux, right? You make this a personal alias and you add it the smart way, meaning you tell basically bash RC, go grab my personal stuff. So what I just did is move all the stuff that I have as a personal user, because I'm a user as well, and I create a bash RC personal, or a ZSH person, or a fish person, right? You choose your own shell in Linux. So these two guys is, um, how you govern, how you operate, if you, you control your operating system. In here, I put my own stuff. I try to, eh, to, to say, okay, this sounds like, or this looks like a good, interesting, faster, more efficient way to do things. And I just moved some stuff from here to, now you get it, to the Bash RC, and to ZSH, and to Fish, and so on. So if you update your system, you get three packages in. Depending on the shell you choose, you have three packages. So there's one that's not a part of this update. That's the ButterFS programs. Now, before we maybe do that, remember that this bash RC is filled 400 lines almost with interesting stuff. So have a look at it because one of the things I would like to go through with you is if you update your system, can I know what updates? Backup scale. Do that before you make an update. Here it is. Backup scale. The bash RC is here. The ZSH is here. And then we update and we see again what happens to the bash RC. So first an update before the haircut, after the haircut, that's sometimes what I call it. So now everything gets updated, where? Not on your system, yes on your system, but not on your real system, HC scale. It's not used, it's there, and it will be used if you create a new user, but you're not intending to, to become a new user suddenly, right? So you need to copy paste these things over. Now, before you wanna do that, maybe you wanna just look, say, okay, let's see so first backup scale update backup scale and what do we get now two of these folders what did we change let's go over all the aliases so you compare you don't want to see what's the same bye so this this and this i really put them all together i'll just do it with one right because right it's, it's the same thing on all three we're by default on bash rc if we put this guy over here, this can go. So remember that none of it is used. At this point yet, none of it is used. None of these guys are used. The only thing you need to do later on is a scale or very uh, minutely or in detail, grab the things in ETC scale and put them here. Same thing. The other one is big command that just copy paste everything in ETC scale. Right? anything that's here, or you say, I'm always in bash RC, never in ZSH, just I'm gonna grab this one, control X, right? Or sorry, control X won't work, it's it's uh, pseudo, right? So control C, and then Eric, and control V. If you do this, 12.5, 13.1. So it's become, it became bigger. Yes, there are a few more. So you replace, and that's it, that's, cool if you only use bash rc 
Just saying, uh, scale or do it manually. So what's new? Let's go over the details. Control T. What's list dir? Well, if I type list dir, I get this. What happens to my system? LS. I have um, a list there. Okay. So nano list. Okay. I get a directory, a list of all kinds of things. When is it interesting? If you have Arclix desktops, there are 30 plus desktops, and I want to use the names of all these files, the folders actually, then I can do so and have a list for later on for bash scripting. Okay, so list dir is something I use if I want, if I don't want to type, just want to have a list of all the directories and then I'll do my stuff with it. This is um, new and not new. Um, it was already in Bash RC, but not in ZSH and not in Fish. So rather than typing SPS, well, pseudo pacman install, I can type this one. Why is it here? Because I was on Wayland and on Sway and on River and all these guys, and they were uh, messing with the, you guessed it, the QWERTY and Azerty things always. So well, I have got myself a simple alias for it, SPS. SPS is not affected by QWERTYs or Azertis. Okay, scrolling down. Was... No, I suppose that's it. I thought there was something else up there. CPU. From time to time, I want to know what CPU I have on a system because there are several PCs here and I need to choose if I want to build a kernel from Xenmod personally right my personal Linux kernel based on Xenmod I need to know what CPU I'm on and they're different so now I know it's Skylake just a quick alias for it this is actually something that somebody asked today on Discord, well, yesterday maybe, and then I read it today. And that's also interesting because it's a question that keeps coming back. And they ask, can we get a list of all the installed packages? And that the idea is probably, can we later on use this list? Because I've made my choices. These are the Lego blocks I like. Give me a list now, do a clean install later and reinstall all these packages in a list, for instance. Or just compare one system with the other and see what packages are chosen on distro X, distro, distro Y and so on. Right? So these are the packages that I've installed after Arconix Nemesis. Yes, it ran here. So I have um, Arconix Nemesis sets everything, the wallpaper, the icons, the theme, everything, all the applications that I need and like and love, right? That's something that you should create for yourself, an Arclix Nemesis clone. So this is list, okay, alias list. There is also list T. List T is a little bit less in the sense that dependencies are not shown. So it's the top level application and everything that it needs is not included. Oh, that's me messing with the code here. There you go. So the lib things and the libraries will be less else here. Then is the list AOR. What is from the AUR? Now this is a system that's, eh, um, well, just installed, clean install, and then later on Arclix Nemesis is just this one. Make init CPIO open swap, in my case. Then we have uh, this line, which is actually not used. Install packages from list. So this is a good idea. They say, okay, so you're saying I can make a list of all the packages like this, for, for example. And then it's written up here, add list at the end to write to a file. So if I do this, this long list is inside a list. Yes. So now you have a file 
with all the packages. Control X. And then you just start typing what it says there. Pseudo Pacman minus S. Need it. Meaning if it's already installed, don't install it, right? Don't waste time. And then you move the content of the list inside this command. I say, okay, whatever is in the list, move it to pseudo pacman minus as needed. And then you get this, of course, everything is already installed. But in a clean system, and later in another system, another computer system, yes, it will install all the packages that's in the list, all right? So that's new. Let me scroll down. We've added some Git things um, for the guys who are, well, using Git, which I can only promote. Sometimes I need to do a, G, a, a Git reset hard. So G reset hard. I just created this for myself. So to, if, um, if you're working two computers, right? And you push from one computer to the other via the GitHub, then sometimes you change something on the other computer and you want to git pull and it says no you've changed something on this computer you need to first uh, stash it or something he says and i said no i don't want to do that so this one reset hard is just gonna reset everything and then you can pull and change the things you'd like right but have a look google it git reset hard is important certainly if you're working in a team then it's important to know what it does a few weeks ago <laughs> We had a PAMIC lock, right? You know already that we have this, this unlock thing. An unlock is removing var lib pacman database lock. If pacman has problems and you say, hey, it was possible, I can't use my pacman anymore. And you really know that's not hidden in F12 up there somewhere or another screen or desktop, right? You really know pacman is not supposed to be locked. This is how you unlock it. But the user was using PAMIC. So we created a PAMIC unlock. Yes, it has also a lock. Right? So if that ha happens at some point in time, because it's only the one in five years, then here we have a lock file that you can unlock, remove that, and then PAMIC is back in business. That's it, I think. Yep, we're at the end. So this is how I would follow things that are in the ETC scale. Many things are not in ETC scale, but this is. So with backup scale, you can actually create a folder. And then of course you can go and, well, compare these two guys. Let's end with a scale. A scale is in this time I'll check what this is. Probably need to do something here. Scale is no longer really an alias. It's really a long script telling you what it all does and giving you some explanation here, an article, why scale, what is important for scale. It will help you if you messed up your Xmonad or Qtile and stuff like that. You get the default back in, but there is always, always a backup of everything. The dot config anyway. That's not everything. So can we copy paste the content? Sure, because this is a virtual box. And the, the fish is in now, ZSH in, is in, bash was, eh, is, was already in, is in again. And this is how things work. And if you think, nah, don't like that alias, really don't like that alias, there's no problem, right? Keep everything the way it is in the bash RC, stay the same, let keep off because eh, scale, gets overwritten anyway. But here, you put everything you don't like. So this one is out, is now in the default system. This one, you have it already, it's in the default. But these things are really, really personal. I wanna have my my wallpapers of six gigabyte are in here. They're all coming from Wallhaven, all coming with a variety. I can type random and then I'll tell Nitrogen to get one of them random, right? And ends the same thing. Arclinix Nemesis, go there, git pull, and run it. 
run Arcmix Nemesis. Just type A and S and that's done for me. This one you have now as well. This is for an older application, EXA, have a look at it. XFC, the, the, the definition of how my XFC works, specifically Thunar, I want to have my own XML. Difference being, if I have right mouse click, I have this one, and I need to learn more about this guy, Git Fiend, right? And if I have a wallpaper somewhere, I have single screen, dual screen. I have more options than the default Arcmix. So it's all about choices. And in here, you know, at some point in time, arcmixb.com, we've created of giving you a folder called personal. Yes, nobody, nobody else has that file system. You've got something called personal. And in here, they can put well, looks, definitions, things you want to have. You burn it on the ISO, basically. And that's the Arclinx B project. You build your own ISO containing your own dot files. And all you need to do is, in this case, copy everything recursively with force from there to there. And that's it. And then maybe this is Surfer icons, this is Arclinx Candy icon, this is XFCE bar at the top and this is personal for i don't know right as many as you like and that's what's the fun right you, you just design and you just copy paste and today i'll be on this kind of look what look is it it's gonna be edu papyrus dark teller with orc dawn dark with Noto sans 11 with bibata modern ice but change the cursor if you like that as well and just copy paste over you boot up and you have another look design design changes well i would say daily but let's say weekly okay that's it for me and yes Wolhaven is doing its work variety is providing me all kinds of new wallpapers on the basis of tax abstract this is actually a nice one have a look at it there is a girl hidden in there and minimal is here space and sci-fi right so you choose setup variety so it fetches nice wallpapers for you and that's it enjoy arclinks cheers